minutes, and then we'll open to questions in the room, and if time permits, we'll go to questions virtually via Zoom at the end. So, Coach, whenever you're ready, take it away. Okay, well, um, <clears throat> it's been a long week, uh, for sure, for our team and staff, you know, coming off a, a really tough loss, uh, a little adversity, and... Um, you know, we talked about it at the beginning of the week. You know, adversity is the companion to the champion and the adversary to the weak. And uh, which one are you going to be? Um, and so, you know, I love how they responded. They responded like champions do. You go back to work. And you let everybody else pout and cry and moan and groan, and, and you get yourself up and you go back to work. And that's what they did. And I'm just really proud of the team. Um, we weren't perfect, but you got some glimpses of what we can do when we do put it together. Um, so I'm really, it's just a great win, um, and again, just proud of how they responded and went, went and won the division championship. And that was actually one of my personal goals. I mean, it's always a goal to win the division, but it was, it was even a little bit more uh, <clears throat> this year because we're not going to have any more divisions. Uh, so this is the last one, and uh, so, you know, really fitting that, you know, it's here at Clemson. So I'm just proud of, proud of that. And again, that's that was our next goal. Uh, so, you know, opportunity to continue to move forward, but. You know, really good uh, momentum into the fourth quarter of our season. Uh, if we stay focused and we continue to, to learn and, and apply the lessons from some of the mistakes and things we're doing good, then, then we can have a really strong finish. And uh, that's, that's really our focus. So, um, you know, starting with next week, you know, we got an opportunity to come right back here next week and, and get a 10th win for 12 years in a row and, and win on senior day. Um, I mean, there's just so much out there for this team. And uh, this was a tough, tough matchup. All right, this is a hot team that's won four in a row. Uh, a couple, of, you know, last play losses coming, you know, into this game. It's a really talented team. And everything we didn't do last week, you know, I mean, somebody, I told them somebody kidnapped my team. Uh, and so it's good to see them back. I mean, they played with great effort. They, they played incredibly physical and tough. And they had a great mindset and a mentality. Uh, so again, just that's what you do. You respond, you go back to work, and they did that. So I'm proud of them. Um, and uh, you know, it was a, it was a, uh, a great day. You know, offensively, <clears throat> DJ did an outstanding job. He's had a, he's had a rough couple weeks. You know, very, it just is what it is. And uh, this was kind of, this was kind of, you know, uh, kind of a do or die day. You know, it's just where we were. And man, he responded. And he, and he played his butt off, um, you know, and just really proud of him. Made some big time plays and we put him in a bad spot a few times, uh, but he, he did a great job. We didn't finish on some drives where we had opportunity. You know, the one we don't, we, we just, just one more yard on the route. Um, we have a couple turnovers that were critical, but man, I just, I just love how he competed and, uh, you know, good to see him get back on track and hopefully that will will really propel him uh, to ho go have a great finish. Because um, he's had a really good year outside of two games. And so hopefully that's the you know a sign of, of how he's going to finish. Uh, but a lot of good things, man. Uh, you know, we, we did some explosive things in the passing game uh, <clears throat> and, um, and ran the ball. So really good balance there, 248 yards rushing. Uh, Mafa, his first 100-yard game. You know, Shipley was over 100, and then I think that last little play or whatever, uh, you know, cost him, but he still had 97 yards and one of the greatest touchdowns I think I've ever seen. <laughs> it was unbelievable. Uh, you know, that's the definition of ship happens right there. Uh, that was incredible. That's the only thing I could say. I mean, even everybody on the sideline just, wow. And we were just this close on a couple more. In fact, I think we would have hit one, and, and, but we jumped offside at left tackle. That had nothing to do with the play. And I mean, that thing was creasing. So uh, <clears throat> we left a little bit out there, but really proud of, of, of those guys. Uh, Antonio, I think he tied a Clemson record today for a freshman uh, with 10 catches, had a touchdown. I thought Ngata was outstanding. You know, he had two catches for about 30 yards or so, but the big third and 15. And then the biggest play of the game was him going and getting that fumble recovery. Uh, you know, you give them the ball there in the red zone, it's a problem. It could have been huge for momentum, et cetera. Uh, so, but that's why you get to the ball. That's why you hustle. That's why you play hard. You know, effort never goes in a slump, as we say. And uh, just, just a huge, huge play in the game uh, for him. So I'm proud of, proud of how we started offensively, how we finished the second quarter, 
and then how we finished the game uh, and how we started the third quarter. So there were some good things, and then we had some, some miscues in between, but a lot of things that we can build on. Uh, BT had another field goal. Um, Antonio, 12 and a half yards per return. Uh, gave us you know, a chance there on a few things. But defensively, to me, that was the story of the game. I was really concerned coming into this game, uh, especially with how poorly we played last week. Uh, these guys got really good backs. Y'all saw that, like really, really good backs. These dudes can run. And uh, in particular, it was one of the things we talked about last night, it was third down run. You know, they'll hand the ball off on third and 15 in a heartbeat. Uh, and they're really quick and fast. But, you know, they were 3 of 14 on third down, uh, <clears throat> four sacks, nine TFLs. Uh, you know, we had the fumble recovery. I thought Barrett Carter was uh, – I mean, uh, I thought Trotter – was outstanding, you know, kind of being the quarterback in there. I thought he played a great game, calls fumble. Jalen come up with, with the fumble, got the interception by Barrett. We had two big stop on downs. I think the real key in the game, because we obviously were loose with the ball, I think maybe was that nine turnovers now in three games. So hopefully that's three games and we're done. Uh, and we can, we can, I mean, it's just unbelievable. I don't even know what to say. I'm going to start coaching with my hat sideways. I don't even know. I'm just going to, it's just like, it's, it's crazy. Uh, but sometimes you just kind of go through some funk. And, you know, the difference tonight was we got takeaways. Uh, that was the difference, you know, because so we kept the margin <clears throat> a little closer. Because, you know, those stops on downs, I know they don't technically count as turnovers, but those are turnovers. And uh, so, you know, in my mind, we still ended up, I guess, plus one in the margin. Uh, so that was the difference in the game. And then more importantly, they didn't get points off those turnovers. That was critical. Uh, so just proud of our guys for how they competed. And, uh, man, Barrett Carter, wow. Uh, we had three starters out um, in, in Parks and, and uh, uh, Trenton. And then uh, uh, Bo, and obviously Xavier's out. And then we lost you know, Venables, I think, somewhere during the game as well with his hamstring. So uh, I don't know how long he's out. but. Man, I'm really proud of those guys. Uh, Mitchell Mays went in, did a nice job. I think Tr uh, uh, Trent Howard got in there for a couple series as well, but really proud of uh, of Mitchell. You know, he's he's uh, that, that was that was a big big moment for him, and, and something hopefully that'll really propel him forward. Um, so because losing Walker was was big for us. Uh, so a great day, and then Barrett just, I mean. Eight tackles, three, t three and a half TFLs, two sacks, and an interception. I mean, that doesn't happen very often in college football. I mean, it was an incredible day. Uh, moving him in Will in, into Will, he had great preparation. He really took ownership of it. Wade Woodass going in there, Mickens. Uh, those guys did a heck of a job. And outside of a few plays where we didn't fit things right, we did a good job against the run. Uh, and again, you know, just turned them over, uh, caught the ball. Uh, it was a great play by Barrett on the interception, you know, reading it, undercutting it. But, the, but it all goes back to the pressure. Um, so did a good job getting after the quarterback. And I hate Malik went out. I got a chance to see him after the game. I really love that kid. I just think he's, a, he's special. Uh, he's a great competitor. He's tough as they come. And hopefully he's going pro and I won't have to deal with him anymore. So, uh, but, you know, great win for us. Again, appreciate our fans. I thought the military appreciation uh, – it, it, I mean, nobody does it better. I mean, it's just it's just a magical night in the Valley every single year uh, when we do it. So hopefully everyone, um, you know, enjoyed that and we were able to really honor uh, our military and our veterans uh, in a special way. So appreciate, uh, uh, appreciate that and we'll take whatever questions. Coach, how important was that third and 15 conversion to, to Ngata in the opening drive just to give DJ a little bit of early confidence? That was big. There was no question. Good call by Street and, uh, you know, really just huge play. A great throw. I mean, he made some he made some great throws, man. I still don't know how he completed the one to Antonio over on the sideline. I mean, he got hit. And as he, that's how strong he is, though. You know, as, he, as he's hit, he still somehow got his arm forward to throw the ball and I think the, the DB over there lost the ball, but he got it over him to Antonio. But that that was that third and 15 was one of the plays of the game. Um, and then we were able to, you know, go down and score. And we've done that. So we, what, we played 10 games. I think seven of the 10, we've scored on the opening drive. And uh, maybe one other one, the Florida State game, we scored the second possession of the drive. 
So, it's, but we, but these past two weeks hadn't been the case. So it's good to get back on track right there and go get that first score and, and kind of set the tone for the game. Yeah, but do you have an update on Trenton Sensen? He sh hopefully will be back next week. Uh, he, he he just he just couldn't couldn't go uh, this week. And same thing with Walker. They were both kind of close, but not to the point that they would clear him to play. Uh, so hopefully both of those guys will be back next week. And uh, you know, Bo, same thing. He's probably. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't know that he'll make it back next week, but hopefully South Carolina for sure. We'll see. We'll see where he's at. Yeah, well, when you're facing a defense that gives you that many looks, that many pressures up front, what, what was sort of the key to be able to block that up to have as much success you did in the run game? Yeah, just great, great preparation. I mean, you know, I thought I thought uh, Thomas did a great job, especially especially you know knowing that Walker was out and being able to really get Mitchell all that work all week long. Um, our scout teams did a great job, you know, of giving us the looks because they are they're they're all over the place. I mean, there's a lot of pressure, um, but uh, you know, just good good communication, ID and things. DJ's DJ's a quarterback. I mean, he sees it. He really does. I mean, he sees it. And when he's really locked in, I mean, he is. He doesn't get fooled very often. Um, so, and then we just we broke a few tackles, um, and that's what you got to do. You know, uh, you got to you got to have guys that can that can turn the corner or, or, or you know, break an arm tackle uh, here or there, and, and you saw that. Uh, but really good job by those guys up front. And we were really, really close on some couple of those twists, especially on the, uh, the four eye on, the, on, our, on our counter play. They just got us backside, like, like looping around, I mean, like that much. Uh, so, you know, we, we, we just – we can finish a, a little bit better. Uh, but it was all in all a really good day running the football. Joe, would you say that the motto of the night was confidence and composure? And I asked Coach Good, Goodwin earlier, which day this week leading up to it did the defense look like they locked in and got ready? He said right away on Monday when you all got through the weekend, got back home. When in your eyes or point of view did the team seem to give you the thought of, okay, this team's got that Notre Dame game behind them, they're ready to go? Yeah, Monday. I mean, you know, um, I mean, you never know. I thought we had great preparation for Notre Dame, got our butts kicked. Um, you know, so, I mean, you never know. Sometimes you do. Sometimes you can kind of say, yeah, well, you know, but I, I guess the one thing I can say is it's like our kids, right? You, you, you tell them don't touch the stove, you know, but sometimes they do it anyway. But sometimes that's what it takes for you to really listen and, and really, you know, lock in like you need to. But I, I, I was really anxious to see them on Monday. Sunday was a long day for us as a staff. Uh, it, was, it was, you know, I mean, disappointing. Um, but I was anxious to see the team on Monday and how they were going to respond. And, man, I mean, it was exactly what I hoped, uh, even better, to be honest with you. And uh, back to work, you know, everybody, you know, full ownership, everybody understands, you know, all on the same page, you know. Everybody speaking the same language, sees the same thing. And then, okay, let's go back to work. Let's do something about it. Can't do anything about it today, but we can have a good Monday, you know. And then we can have a good Tuesday. And uh, had good practice all week. And... You know, just good meetings all the way up until we got on the bus today. Uh, so, I'm just proud of them. Um, I mean, it was a, that was a, again, a, a dangerous, dangerous football team that we just beat. And um, you know, I'm just proud of them for winning the line of scrimmage, something we didn't do last week. And when you don't win the line of scrimmage, you don't deserve to win. Uh, so, you know, it was good to see them bounce back and, and, uh, and play better because that was our opportunity was today. Joe, how impressed are you with Bear Carr accepting the challenge of having to play different positions? Yeah. Well, he's always, we, you know, Wes has always repped him at, the, at that wheel, and that's, that's going to be his position for sure. And as I've told you all many times, he's, he's one of the best football players in my 20 years at Clemson. Pure football player. I mean, the guy could play anywhere. He could go play tailback. He could play corner. He can play safety. He can play nickel Sam. He can play Mike. He can play Will. He's, he's special. I mean, he just has – and we saw that in high school with him. I mean, he's just a – and you see in high school they played him everywhere. He's so smart. He's got unbelievable instincts for the game. Um, and so, you know, that's kind of his natural position as far as long term where he's going to be. And Wes has always cross-trained him and repped him there and, and stuff. And so this just kind of gave us the opportunity to really commit to it. And with Wood Az coming in and, and Mickens um, – you know, being able to – he and Makuba, you know, we kind of used them in that nickel spot a little bit, depending on what we were doing. Uh, Makuba kind of played the man the man uh, uh, technique when we needed that. But 
it was just it was awesome. And that is not an easy team to get ready for uh, at all with all the eye candy that they have and misdirection and and uh, boots and and the zone the influence zone read with that quarterback. Uh, it's not an easy team, and man, he was all over the place. Uh, so, but it's just very natural to him, and uh, so it was a, it was great to be able to see him have that type of game, and and uh, you know, hopefully, uh, continue to build on it. How much of DJ getting back playing free and loose, him going, <clears throat> you know, getting him going in the running game and getting sort of lathered up with those runs? Yeah, runs? I think that was part of it for sure, you know. But I think more, it's just, it's just him kind of. Uh, just really getting back to where he needed to be, you know, mentally this week. Um, but we we definitely made a commitment to it. Uh, get, glad I was able to get Cade in there. Uh, I felt like, especially trying to end the game, it was a good experience for him. But I felt like we could maybe get him on the edge and uh, and at least get a big first down uh, as we tried to milk the clock, make them use their timeouts there, you know, at the end. But uh, so it was good to be able to put him in there at two and get some experience. But. Um, there's no question. I mean, DJ, uh, when he's when he's really locked in, man. I mean, he's a problem. I mean, he's not he's not, you know, going to be a guy that's going to run for 70 yards, but he can really hurt you because uh, he's big and he's strong and he's and he's he's crafty. Uh, but you know, we just wanted to get him hit early, kind of get him going, and um, we really challenged him this week. Like I said, this was. I mean, it, 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 you didn't have to tell him. I mean, like. He's going to have to play better. He's going to have to play well today. And uh, he did. So I love it. I'm proud of him. I'm happy for him. And uh, now we just got to go go back to work and do it again next week. You say it was kind of a do or die game for him. Was that going to Cade if he wasn't? Yeah, absolutely. Play? I mean, I don't think we need to even, I mean, that's pretty obvious. I mean, you got your best players, got, and we've seen him, you know, play really, really well. And he played terrible against Syracuse, but he wasn't the reason we lost an under name game. Like I said, he don't play punt team. He don't stop the run. But he he did not play well in that first half. But he finished well, and that was encouraging. That was That's probably another thing is how he finished that game, uh, I think, was really good for him. And, uh, you know, so kind of like the Pittsburgh game last year. You know, it was bad. It took him out, and then he came in that Pittsburgh game and kind of finished well. And then he just kind of went the rest of the season and really played pretty dang solid, you know, with what we had. Uh, so hopefully that's uh, a good thing for him moving forward. But, yeah, I mean, there, there, there was no way he was going to have an opportunity to go out there and, and stink. You know, he, he, you're not going to – a guy's won 14 games in a row and he, and he has a bad game against Syracuse, you're not going to bench your quarterback. Uh, so now, you know, we didn't play great at Notre Dame, uh, but nobody played great. We didn't coach great either. So – but everybody's got to take ownership and um, – no question, he needed to he needed to play well today, and he did. With Shipley and the fumble, is that something you just continue to kind of decide practice? Yeah, yeah. Maybe we'll, we'll, instead of working on the hurdle dream, that drill, maybe we'll work on some ball security drills a little bit more this week. Uh, we got that one down. Uh, yeah, I mean, it just you know I've been around football long enough. I mean, sometimes you just have it's like a rash, man. It just spreads on you. Uh, so sometimes it just kind of comes in bunches like that. I mean, it's, but it can also turn the other way too. Um, so the, the difference was we, again, with the stop on downs, the two takeaways, it kind of leveled it out and they didn't score. Uh, so, you know, unlike last week, punt block for a touchdown, pick six, you know, it's, it's hard to overcome those things. But hopefully it'll turn for us. I mean, it, you go seven games with three offensive turnovers, and then I, I, I think we got, I think we got nine in three games. I mean, it's just, it's crazy. So definitely, definitely something. And we, you know, so when you watch the tape, we won the game. Uh, but just like last week, we got a lot we got to do better. Uh, now we did the things that you have to do to win, like play freaking physical and tough, and have the right attitude and the right mindset. You know, if you don't have that, you, I don't care what you do. And so we did a lot, all those things. We did a, you know, just we were disciplined and and a little more, um, just just complimentary football at times, and, and we we played aggressive, and so I, all of those things were good. But we we got away with some things that maybe didn't cost us the game tonight, but it'll cost you 
a championship. You know, it, you know, so whereas, you know, when they get the wrong, wrong run, our, our three techniques not in the B gap. You know, and, and they, they, where do they run it? Right in the B gap. Uh, you know, just some basic things that, we, that we've got to do better. Um, so there's always a lot to coach. There's always a lot to teach, whether you win or lose. But it sure is a lot better coming off a win. So uh, again, good to get back on track and, and uh, to be 9-1. I'm proud of the team, but you know we're a long way from being satisfied. We we've got to we got to have a great finish here and opportunity to you know stay on track next week. Did you see the physicality you wanted to with the front four on defense? Oh, yeah, well, absolutely! I thought they dominated. Uh, again, we we missed on a few things. We 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 pressured that quarterback. Uh, we got after him and uh, a bunch of three and outs. There's a bunch of three and outs. So uh, I, I, the biggest disappointment was the third down runs. You know, and you know the one we, you know, Miles doesn't set the, on third and twenty-one. You know, uh, and they ran for what twenty yards. You know, that's that's that was all Miles, just not doing his job, not just trying to do too much. And and so the, again, that didn't cost us, but those are the type of things that get you beat. And so regardless of what the scoreboard is, you still got to do your job. And uh, so there's a lot that we can we can coach on and teach from. But man, I thought Miles was great. I thought he got a lot of pressure. Uh, I mean, all those guys. I mean, we, we did a good job on the coverage for the, with the exception of, you know, poor awareness up 24 to 7. And they're not really moving the ball. And so their really only chance to get back in the game is to get some type of chunk play. And, and you know, we get a big double play, double move for 70 yards or whatever it was. I mean, that was really disappointing. Uh, so, again, there's situational things, but we held them. We, we stopped them in the red zone. Uh, which was good to see. Held them to a field goal there, uh, but a lot of things we can do better. And, and um, but the name of the game is to to get the win, and we got it done. Coach Doyle led the nation in sacks coming in. Uh, they got you twice tonight, but I, I guess you'd be okay with that with Walker Parks out. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, I look at it. I don't. I don't know uh, exactly uh, what. Uh, uh, what it was on. We got. They got us on the one. I, I think. Uh, uh, he was trying to throw the hitch outside off of a, a RPO draw. And um, I, I think that was the back. I think it was Moffa didn't see him um, till late. They ran a little gut X blitz, I believe. That was one. And I can't, I can't remember the other one, but we'll look at it on tape. But yeah, I mean, these guys are leading the world in takeaways and, and in sacks. So very aggressive group and, and, a, and a handful to get ready. So just proud of our guys for you know, getting back uh, on top of it tonight. With some of the drives that started in the second half, how much of that was mistakes on offense and how much of it was being careful with the ball? And All mistakes. I mean, just some dumb stuff. Uh, between the turnovers and a couple of missed plays, uh, a couple of penalties, uh, it was just really, really disappointing. Um, then that we had a little lull right there where we just – and that's that's one of those areas, you know, we got we got to put it away. And uh, so, you know, but, again, we just kept battling, kept plugging, and – um, you know, the fumble by zero. Um, you know, there's at least three times I think we were in plus territory that we got no points. And that's that's very frustrating. Can you give a sense of y'all you know, get, getting an idea of how limited their offense was given Malik's left hand, how what that process was like for y'all, or I guess for Wes figuring out? We didn't see anything limited about them. Uh, man, they, they got them backs, uh, and they got Malik, and he can he can do it all. But I think it was his shoulder um, that got him out, you know, right before the half. But and then obviously that that the quarterback that came in, you know, he's not he he's he made some nice plays and throw the ball, but he's and he's a tough kid, but he's he's not the threat in the run game that Malik is. So, you know, we were able to get to him a little bit more. Um, whereas you saw right before the half what happens when you get after Malik and next thing you know there he goes for you know 40 yards um, so he just presents a different problem you know whether he's got a banged up left hand or not um, you know we we did um, I, I just felt like that you know we were able to stop the run most of the night again outside of a couple of couple of plays here or there Coach, 150 games since you last lost consecutive games Back in 2011, that's the longest streak in the country. What does that say about your program? We respond. You know, we're not perfect, uh, but we we've always responded. Um, and 
you know, we always will. I mean, I wish we, I wish we never lost a game. I wish we win every game for the rest of my life, uh, however long I'm a coach. But, you know, it's probably not going to happen. Uh, from time to time, you, you get beat. You know, sometimes you, you just stink and you, you, maybe you play pretty well, but you really do some dumb stuff that costs you a game. And then sometimes you just get your butt handed to you. And, and that's, that's what happened last week. Um, but and you, don't get, you don't get mulligans. It's not like my golf game, right? You don't get a mulligan. Uh, you you, you got to go on to the next one. And um, as, as I said this past week, it's disappointing, you know, that you lose a game and, and everybody wants to fire everybody and everybody needs to get rid of everybody. It's just, you know, that's the world we're in. And I think that's sad because um, you got these kids bust their butt and they work their tails off. Same with the staff every single week. Nobody ever wants to lose. Uh, but sometimes you got to give the opponent credit, and you know you just you, you, it's part of it's part of getting better. You know it's about managing failure, right? I mean that's that's what you do. We, we it's not just you have to manage success too, but you got to manage failure. There's not ever been a champion ever that didn't have some failure or some adversity ever. Uh, so you know it's I mean that's a long time. Um, and so what it says is, is we, we've got great people, we have great character, we have a great culture, and, you know, we always respond. And um, so just proud of the credit goes to the player. Credit goes to the player because they got to buy in. And uh, that's why when I saw on Monday, I said, hey, we're going to be just fine. Um, you know, the guys went back to work, and that's what you do. That's what winners do, and that's what champions do. Was, was there any thought of going to Cade after DJ's fumble during the first half? No, no. That was a pressure. I think. I think. I think it was J Mac. You know, he didn't really kind of get the ball pretty secured, and the guy was on him real quick. Uh, so you know, it was a little more on the OL right there. But um, you know, just we all got to do a better job there at every position, take care of the ball. What has getting him with the first team defense? Is that a depth thing, or what's he done to kind of? Well, he's a really good player. We really, I mean, he's 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 very talented. That kid can do a lot. He could probably go play. He's a lot like Barrett. He could probably go play safety. Uh, in fact, that's what he played. Played safety. He can fly. He's physical. He's tough. Played quarterback most of his life, so he really just has a, a great uh, understanding of the game, and, and that's why you see him out there. But you know, they were they were a lot of some heavy personnel stuff. So when they were in more of their twelve personnel, we we had him in there. When they were getting their eleven personnel, we bring Mickens in. And Mickens and Makuba would kind of, uh, you know, play that personnel grouping. But with Barrett going inside, you know, we needed him to be a little more involved in the, in the game plan. So um, it'll be exciting to, to get Trenton back and, and get him plugged back in. And uh, got a lot we can a lot we can build on with those guys. A great experience for, for Wood S. I was going to ask if you could say anything on why they were out with Trenton and Walker. It, Trenton's ankle. Uh, and uh, Walker was in the concussion protocol. And then with Tyler, do you know you'll get him back? I don't. I don't know. They just said, you know, they just came up and said he was out and was hamstring. So I don't know. I saw, you know, so he he was in street clothes. Um, I hate that for him. Was Kobe close? He was very close. And, uh, you know, probably could have played. And I told him right there at the end, even if we got it back, I wasn't going to put him in. It just, you know, no sense at that point. You know, just, you know, he, he had a great week of practice. Um, Probably would have put Dominique back in if we Dominique in if we'd have got the ball back. But uh, really good week of practice, and at that point, you don't want to have any type of setback in, in a game in a situation like that. So, um, but yeah, he was he was he was ready to go. Probably not a hundred percent, but he's close. How much of Kobe's absence do you think has accelerated Phil Moffa's development? I mean, no doubt he's taking advantage of it for sure. He's had a lot of opportunity and, and uh, a lot of reps. And, you know, he's a big, powerful, fast uh, guy. You know, great hips, great vision. He can turn the corner. Uh, he's got explosiveness. You just you, – you don't realize how that – I mean, he's a 230-pound dude. You don't realize how fast he is. Um, so, just, just, a, just a great one-two punch right there with those guys. Was the injury on Taylor? Will Taylor also? What's that? Will Taylor's injury? Yeah, just, just – uh, Nothing major, uh, but just just 
uh, little issue we got to clean up. I think he's got like a little small, maybe a little meniscus area that, that they might clean up. So he might be out a couple weeks, uh, hopefully not long. Is that the same knee, you know? Uh, I, I believe it is. I believe it is the same one. DJ was saying that the, the throwback pass, he's been waiting a few weeks on that to call and he was kind of – Yeah, crazy. man. Golly. He's got to go score on that. Uh, that was probably his worst play. Um, we had it set up um, big time. It's a great play against a really aggressive group. And and I know we got the holding call, but if we go score, we'll, we get the ball in the 10 or whatever it is. Uh, so – but it was fun. It was fun to see it executed. We've been kind of holding on that one, and, and uh, Antonio did a good job, you know, setting it up. But, yeah, he'd, he'd like to have that one back. Uh, but Marcus Tate did a good job getting out there, and, and uh, th I, I think it was McFadden that, that had the hold. And I think it was definitely a hold, too. So he got his money's worth. Anyone else for Coach? All right, thank you, Coach. Thank you, Coach. Okay, nobody on Zoom tonight? We quit? We quit on Zoom? Done. <laughs> quit on Zoom. <laughs>